The movie begins by introducing Arthur, also known as Aquaman. We learn that his life has completely changed as he has become the king of Atlantis. Arthur is now married to Mera, the daughter of the king of another kingdom, and they have a son together. The story then shifts to the villain, Black Manta. Black Manta blames Arthur for his father's death and is determined to take revenge. He has been constructing a powerful suit, waiting for the right moment to confront Aquaman. Next, we meet a marine scientist who is researching Atlantis, the underwater world. He is determined to find Atlantis and bring it to the attention of the world to prove its existence. His research takes him and his team to Antarctica, where they search the snow for clues. Suddenly, they are attacked by a monstrous octopus-like creature with massive tentacles. The scientists become trapped and send out a distress signal for help. Black Manta, working with the scientists, comes to their rescue. After saving them, he continues his own exploration, diving deeper into the snow. He discovers the broken black trident and, upon joining its pieces, sees its original owner, Cordex. Cordex, an intelligent and formidable figure, appears in Black Manta's visions. He tells Black Manta that by rejoining the broken trident, he will gain immense power and the ability to take revenge on Aquaman. Meanwhile, the world is facing severe environmental challenges. Global warming has intensified, leading to frequent tsunamis and floods, worsening the global situation. Because of this, along with the world outside, there are a lot of difficulties in the sea world as well. Because of all this, the creatures of the sea are slowly dying. Seeing this, there is a meeting of the Atlantic Councils, in which Arthur is also included. Here, Arthur puts forth the proposal that they should meet and talk to the people of the outside world and share their advanced technology with them so that the outside world can also develop and help solve their problems. However, it is obvious that no one agrees with this. All the councils say that this cannot happen. Meanwhile, Black Manta's suit is completely ready. He wants to get into Atlantis and steal Orichalcum. Orichalcum is a type of metal found in the Atlantis Kingdom, which works like petrol and has many benefits. Black Manta enters Atlantis with his team to get Orichalcum and attacks. Seeing the destruction, Mera goes to stop Black Manta. However, because he has become powerful with his new suit, he attacks Mera, injuring her and causing her to faint. Black Manta approaches Mera again. Before he can attack her, Arthur arrives to save his wife and starts fighting Black Manta. They have a great fight. In the midst of the battle, Black Manta receives a signal from his team, indicating they have found Orichalcum. Realizing he can leave, he abandons the fight and escapes safely. Mera's condition is very bad when Arthur's mom arrives. She tells him that if Black Manta came to Atlantis for Orichalcum, then surely something bad is going to happen. Hearing this, Arthur says to his mom that they will need the help of his brother ORM in this matter. She asks why. Arthur replies, because my brother ORM knows very well about Atlantis as well as Orichalcum. He knows the entire history of Atlantis. Hearing this, Arthur's mom says, but ORM is trapped in another kingdom, the jail of the fishermen. Then how can he come? Arthur replies, I will go to the fisherman kingdom myself and get ORM out of jail. He does this, going straight to the fisherman's jail. Soon he finds ORM and takes him out of there. However, before they leave, they are surrounded by the guards of the fisherman's kingdom. ORM's condition has deteriorated a lot because he was not given proper food. His body had become very weak. But as soon as he comes out and the seawater touches his body, he becomes as healthy and strong as before, regaining his powers. ORM fights the guards alone, dominating them and killing all the guards in one blow. After this, the brothers leave. On the way, they talk about their lives. Arthur tells ORM, I am tired of being the king of Atlantis. Now I am bored with this job. ORM is quite surprised to hear this and tells Arthur, 
I have tried to become a king since childhood to get the throne. But you got that throne, and you don't even care about it. This is quite strange and amazing. The two go straight to King Fish and ask him about Black Manta. King Fish replies, You can find Black Manta on an island in the South Area. After hearing this, the brothers go to the South Area to find the island. When they arrive, they see that the whole island has changed. It seems that burning orichalcum has spread smoke here. Because of this, the trees, plants, and even the animals have completely mutated, increasing their size significantly. Even the rats have become as big as elephants. A scientist is shown who is now at the location of Black Manta. When the scientist sees the broken black trident, he grabs it without thinking. As soon as he touches it, the scientist begins to see the codex in his mind, which tells him to do the wrong thing, as it had told Black Manta. But then Black Manta arrives. He takes the black trident from the scientist and says, Scientist, you wanted to know what my purpose is, right? So listen. My purpose is to kill Arthur and his entire family. And if I have to deal with the devil to do this, then I am willing to do it. Then we see Arthur and ORM, who are looking for Black Manta's location, arrive and meet the scientist. Understanding that Arthur and ORM have come from Atlantis, the scientist tells them that his purpose is to destroy Atlantis as well. The scientist also tells them about the Black Trident, and as soon as he touches it, memories of the owner of the Trident, Codex, begin to appear. While they are talking, Black Manta's team attacks Arthur and ORM. The two brothers bravely start fighting back. During the intense fight, Black Manta arrives in his full suit and starts fighting them both. In the midst of the battle, ORM accidentally catches the Black Trident and begins to see the memories of Codex. This distraction allows Black Manta to attack ORM, injuring him significantly. Black Manta then fights both Arthur and ORM, gaining the upper hand. Just when it seems that Black Manta will kill both of them, Mera's father, the king, arrives and helps them, taking them to a safe place. Once safe, ORM explains everything about the Black Trident. Arthur's father, who sought Atlantis, had a powerful trident, now held by his son King Arthur. Arthur's father also had a brother, none other than Codex. And he created this Black Trident. Now, just like Arthur's dad king was ruling the Atlantis kingdom, Codex was ruling another kingdom that was completely dark, i.e., filled with dangerous creatures and monsters. But trouble began when Codex showed his real form. Actually, Codex wanted to steal Atlantis or Calcum and become more powerful. To some extent, he was achieving this. But in doing so, Atlantis and other sea creatures were dying and diseases were spreading inside Atlantis. Seeing this situation, King Arthur's dad confronted Codex and told him to stop. But Codex, intoxicated by power, rebelled against his brother, the king, sparking a war between them. In the war, the king defeated Codex and imprisoned him forever, using his blood to lock him up in a magical prison from which escape was impossible. Later, ORM explains that Codex is stuck in Black Manta's mind through memories, as he wants to use him to be free from prison. Hearing this, Arthur and ORM's mom understand the situation. She explains that she knows about Cordex and how the king used his blood to imprison him. To be free, Codex needs the blood of someone from the king's generation, meaning those with royal blood. Arthur realizes that his son's life is in danger as he is an easy target for Black Manta. This suspicion is confirmed when Arthur arrives home to find everything destroyed, his son missing, and a man injured, confirming that Black Manta caused the destruction and took his son. So now, Arthur and ORM set out to save his son. But before that, their mom reminds them of something important, no matter what happens, they are brothers and must support each other. They head straight to Black Manta's location and launch an attack. However, they encounter a large monster that also attacks them. 
Although the rest of them survive, Mera's dad is trapped there. ORM goes to his aid and frees him from the monster's clutches. Witnessing this, Mera's dad realizes that he had misunderstood ORM, who turns out to be a very good person. Meanwhile, Black Manta has Arthur's son with him. The scientist, seeing the child, tries to save him by picking him up and running away. However, Black Manta notices and attacks the scientist, injuring him and taking the child. As Black Manta moves to harm the child, Arthur arrives and challenges him to a fight. Their battle is intense, but Black Manta, actually Cordex inside him, begins to overpower Arthur due to his enhanced abilities. However, Mera manages to escape with her child. Black Manta then targets Mera with his black trident, but before he can strike her, ORM intervenes and saves her and the child. However, this leads to a reversal of events, as ORM, upon touching the black trident, becomes influenced by Cordex and starts to turn against his brother, believing himself worthy of being the king of Atlantis instead of Arthur. Arthur, understanding the situation, doesn't retaliate but instead tries to reason with ORM, urging him to regain control of himself. Eventually, ORM manages to regain control, remembering his mother's words that they are brothers and should support each other. You have to support each other no matter what happens. But in the meantime, Cordex takes advantage and starts to free himself. As he does this, his body starts to come to life. Just at that moment, ORM releases the Black Trident. However, it is too late, as Cordex has already revived himself and is now facing Arthur. Arthur attacks Cordex with his Black Trident, but Cordex easily catches it and tries to strike Arthur. Arthur, in turn, breaks his Black Trident with the help of his Trident and strikes Cordex, eventually killing him along with his Trident. As soon as this happens, the entire place starts to crumble and break apart. Black Manta is buried under the debris, but when Arthur extends a hand to help him, Black Manta refuses, saying thank you but preferring to die rather than accept help from Arthur. Consequently, Black Manta dies there, while Arthur and his companions leave. Arthur then tells ORM that he is now free and doesn't have to go to jail anymore. They plan to fake ORM's death in the fisherman's jail so that he can live freely. After this, ORM fully accepts Arthur as his brother, as their misunderstandings have been cleared. Cordex's words resonate, acknowledging that Arthur is the kind of king Atlantis needs, affirming that Atlantis is Arthur's kingdom. Arthur then presents Atlantis to the world, sharing its technology to contribute to making the world a better place. Arthur's life continues in both Atlantis and the outside world, and the story of the film concludes. Thanks for watching Depth of Field Flick Fix.